sharing photographic memories of the husband she lost far too early has had a healing effect on the young widow Michelle Miller has been talking to. Photographer Jacob Johnson dreamed of a photo exhibit like this. Everything framed was taken by Jacob. Who was the better photographer? <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> His wife, Anjali Pinto, also a photographer, made it happen. Well, originally, my thought was like, it'll be a wall of his work and a wall of my work. But her husband isn't here to see it. What happened? Essentially, the walls of his aorta weakened from the inside and um, eventually it burst. With no warning, at age 30, he died New Year's Eve 2016, just 16 months after getting married. They met through following each other on Instagram, so she had an idea. I turned to Instagram after Jacob's death because I had so many beautiful portraits of him. Every day last year, she posted a new image of him, of them, a glimpse of the life they shared. I never imagined Jacob would die first. It is so much less painful to imagine dying than losing the person you love. Each an insight into her daily grief. I couldn't then and still now can't fathom how so much can happen in one day. The loving moments and the horrifying reality divided by a few minutes of chaos. Her Instagram following grew to more than 51,000, many inspired to write their own stories, like this one. I could never really come to terms with the fact that my dear father had left me, one wrote. No point in one's life is right for the loss of an immensely loved one. Was there a reaction or a comment that stood out to you? One day, I got a very long comment from a woman she was diagnosed with a terminal illness and had two small children. And she wrote me that seeing my way of surviving and trying to find joy brought her comfort because she hoped that her daughters and her husband would have the same experience. Did that surprise you? Absolutely. I've received support and encouragement and also really heartbreaking stories from people all over the world. What has it taught you about grieving publicly the way you have? I've always believed that telling a true story about yourself can bring strangers closer to you. Even when the story is about love and loss.